Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine and having fun. Today I am going to share a new and very exciting service with you guys which is named as My Devices Kind. Uh, it's an online platform which is used for designing Arduino and Raspberry Pi projects. I have recently encountered with this service and I was really pleased while working on this kind platform. Uh, it is used instead of Arduino or Raspberry Pi code. Uh, in this service, you can simply design your code by drag and drop. You have to drag any of your component and place it in your uh, programming area on your dashboard. And uh, uh, you need to upload it in your Arduino or Raspberry Pi and then uh, it works like chart. Uh, now the question is, why do you use it? Uh, when I work with students, engineering students, uh, they want to work on different uh, embedded projects, but the only restriction which holds them is the programming language. They don't know anything about programming, they can't design the heavy routine, so they can't work on their embedded projects. So if you use Kind, this online platform, then you don't need to program any code in your Arduino or Raspberry Pi. You just need to drag and drop different components from their website, design a project, and then upload it in your Arduino or Raspberry Pi and your project will work like charm. So it's a very popular and awesome service which you can use. So uh, when I encounter, encountered with this uh, kind platform, I worked on many different projects and it helped me a lot, especially in Raspberry Pi projects. So I thought to share it with you guys on our blog. Uh, right now I will give tutorials on uh, Arduino uh, and uh, after Arduino tutorials I will surely work on Raspberry Pi as well ok so <clears throat> first of all uh, here's the link of my blog post where I have discussed you can read the name here getting started with Kyan Arduino because I am gonna share about Arduino so uh, the link of this tutorial is given in the description of this YouTube video and when you click on that link you will come to this page or a blog where I have written this tutorial so as it's my first tutorial so today we will just create an account on the kind website and then we are gonna design our first project which will be Arduino LED project we will blink an LED using Arduino okay so first of all what you need to do is you need to create an account here's the link I have given it uh, on this post when you click it you will go to their website kind my devices kind-mydevices.com okay now I have already created an account but I'm gonna create a new account so that you guys can understand it quite well okay first of all you need to click on get started for free you have to register an account on their site so I'm um, here yeah here we have and yeah the Arduino is in beta phase right now but it works fine because I have tested it so uh, first of all I'm gonna give my name here then Nasir okay I'm gonna give email ID there are different email IDs so I'm gonna select the one I haven't yet choose on this website then after password I'm gonna set Pakistan because my country is Pakistan okay I agree to my devices terms next and uh, you can see it's signing up and it's redirecting if you are using it for the first time when you create your account register your account then it will first ask from you whether you wanna work on Raspberry Pi or Arduino so because we are gonna first work on Arduino so I am gonna select here Arduino which is in beta phase now here are the few instructions uh, which are you can read here uh, first of all what you need to do is you need to connect either Ethernet shield or the Wi-Fi shield with your Arduino board this shield is required because you need to upload the code from this website so they need some way of communication 
so i am using arduino wifi shield in uh, in this tutorial so what i did is i have plugged my arduino wifi shield on the arduino uno shield and after that i have connected it via usb with uh, my computer i connected the arduino with my laptop via usb i already have the arduino ide installed and yeah one one more thing is uh, before I was using Arduino IDE 1.6.5 which is an old version of Arduino and when I tried it, it didn't work quite well. So make sure to download the latest version of Arduino IDE which is Arduino 1.6.11 while I am writing this tutorial and this video. Uh, okay, so I have downloaded this uh, latest version of Arduino and uh, after that you need to download the Dyn library and I have also given the library link on my on this uh, post from here you need to download it I have already downloaded it so here you see you get the download file and uh, next thing you need to do is you need to add this library in your Arduino which you can do easily from here sketch include library add dot zip library and here my file library not here it's in the downloads so I'm going to downloads and here I am selecting file because I told you when I open it it will automatically install in the Arduino IDE but because I have already installed it, that's why it's giving me an error. A, a, a library named Kyle already exists. So when you install it, it will come here and see the Kyle library. Okay? So you need to install this library. And finally, what you need to do is you need to click next. Okay, that's the last and step three and final step for uh, uh, connecting your Arduino with kind and here you need to select your board on which you want to upload the code so as I'm using Arduino Uno so here I'm gonna select Arduino Uno and Arduino Uno next you need to select the medium the communication way which is Wi-Fi shield in my case if you are using Ethernet shield then you must have connected the Ethernet port with your laptop so I'm gonna select this Wi-Fi shield and as soon as I select it, it will give me a code and I need to copy this code here I am copying it Control C and then this is the only thing you need to do uh, here I have posted my sketch and uh, in this sketch I have to change the SSID to my SSID which is Pakistan the Wi-Fi connection and uh, here's my password which is hello hello that's my password of my Wi-Fi connection uh, and if you are using Ethernet shield then you have to connect your Ethernet with the Ethernet port of your laptop and I also need to change this SSID and password this is the token number and if you check here you can see the authorized token for this device so this is the token number from which you can uh, the kind is recognizing your device now I'm gonna upload it in my Arduino board no need to save it so I'm uploading it in my Arduino and once it's done <coughs> one more thing you can see here it is saying waiting for the board to connect so as soon the code is uploaded in my Arduino board then it will the kind will run and after a short time your board will appear here so the code is uploaded in the Arduino Uno and now I have to wait for my board to recognize by this kind website so let's wait uh, I, don't, I hope it won't take much time still it's waiting for the board to connect Oh yeah, yeah, here it is. Now it has been connected and uh, it's online. Yeah, it, it got online. Here's my Arduino Uno board and uh, now 
what I need to do is uh, I need to design a simple example mm. if we check our blog post here we have connected we have done this step and we have uploaded the code and we have reached at this point now our Arduino is set up with the kind online service okay now I'm gonna design a simple small example so that you get familiar with uh, kind uh, website so I'm gonna design an Arduino LED blinking project so let's see how it goes okay now coming back to the uh, kind website here you need to add new device slash widget and when you click it you will get these devices and because I'm working on the LED project so I'm gonna select light here and here light switch the LED is connected on my uh, Arduino board so I have connected it with pin number 8 so I am going to select D8 here uh, is, this is the button and uh, I am going to uh, the add actuator is not uh, coming up yeah, I have already added it no need to select it I don't know why uh, the last time I worked on it, this comes quickly at, at actuator. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, I haven't selected the icon and I have also not selected the D8. So I have selected both of them. Now I need to click on step 2 add actuator. And you can see the light switch has been added in my Arduino project under Arduino project. Now when I click it, my LED on the Arduino goes high. It's on right now. Uh, and I can't show you it in real time. But uh, let me turn my camera on somehow. Uh, I don't know how I can do it because I don't have any software to turn my camera on. Uh, let me skype it maybe it will help me here mm. let's see yeah I've done it Sorry for the dark background uh, because I like to remain in dark. Anyways, here's my LED. You can see this is the Arduino Uno shield on below, and uh, above I have placed the Arduino Wi Fi shield, and here's my LED. So now when I click on the button, this LED goes off. Okay, let me make it sideways. Now I think you can have a better look. Now when I click it, the LED goes on. If I click it again, the LED goes off. On, off. You can play it. Uh, you can play with it as long as you want. It's my Arduino Wi-Fi shield and it's connected to pin number 8, the LED. Hi, on and off. So that's how you can quite easily control your Arduino projects can design any kind of code from this awesome service named as my devices kind so thanks for watching subscribe our youtube channel and also watch our videos take care bye bye